Hey YouTubers and YouTube it's Kenny King here and uh, just making another quick video. Um, a lot of you guys show your art studios or your drawing area. Uh, that's pretty interesting to me so I thought I'd show mine. Um, especially since I just got it pretty much the way I want it. I want uh, one of the reorganized things. It was pretty cluttered. I worked for two days getting this thing straight. And, uh, it's more uh, easy on the eyes and feel more comfortable in here now. Um, things was moved around different than it is now, but I'll, I'll show you around. Let's see kind of the setup I got. All right, uh, back here is computer desk, um, weight room. Yes, big weight room there. Um, that's just a few things I got in here. This is my designated weight area. It's actually a weight room slash computer room slash drawing room slash dining room. So it's a lot going on in here, but um, I've got it where you know organized where it's working pretty good now. I can get around a lot better. Um, we got um, so a script. A guy sent me, I've got to go over. Uh, I sent it in as a submission. Uh, I'm gonna check it out and get back to him. Uh, got this cool Batman 10, uh, it's recreation of number one. Got that for my birthday back in June. Pretty neat. Uh, it's a Savage Dragon, autographed by Eric Larson. A few posters. I gotta take these down because they, like I said, they was that here at my drawing desk, which is now over here. So I have to move these over here. I'll get to that eventually. That's all the thing I hadn't moved around yet. Um, here's a. If you can see it, it's not very well lit here in this corner. Uh, this is a limited edition Slayer action figure that I created. I didn't create it, I altered it. Nobody would ever know who this character is, but it's Johnny Storm from Fantastic Four, and that's Thor's cape. And I think that's a Daredevil's backdrop that he was perched on. But that was me messing around. Uh, maybe I'll mass produce something like that one day. If I ever get off my butt and get this Slayer book going. Um, here's something I had on my blog a while back for inspiration. Kind of helps you. Something I made just. Keep me motivated until you value yourself. You want value your time until you value your time. You will not do anything with it. Uh, what's another one? This is one of my favorites. A year from now, you may wish you had started today. Uh, uh, this is a great one. The best way to sell your first book is to write a second book. This is true. But anyway, some motivational quotes I've got to look at every day to kind of keep me motivated to keep going. And over here, I made this little, um, you know, instructional thing: making a plan, be specific about your dream, turn your dream into burning desire, turn your burning desires into goals. It is a strategic plan of action. Take action now, and also stay motivated. Things to help you stay motivated. Uh, along with artwork, cool artwork. Um, what we got here computer and Logan. Yeah, he's my roommate here. He sits around while I do all the work. Do you like it here, Logan? <coughs> do you like it here, Logan? <coughs> Guess not. We'll come back to you later. Maybe we'll change your mind. But anyway. That's that. Let's come over here. This is uh, 
my working area here. It's kind of still kind of cluttered, but it's a lot more organized than it was. Um, there's some ink and stuff, uh, acrylic paints. I've got probably enough art supplies to last me for the rest of my life, but I keep buying more because I don't know, I'm just never satisfied with what I got. Um, there's some more. Uh, we got Copic markers. Uh, this is a little carrying case that I use for my sketch cards. Uh, take it pretty much where I go, it's convenient. Color set, plenty of acrylic paints, pencils. Uh, what we got down here some books. There's a little bit of my collection, things I like to read. Batman, Want It, uh, a lot of Walking Dead, trade paper bags. I'm up to date on those. Batman and Odyssey by Neil Adams. I've been waiting to read that. I've yet to read it. Uh, all these blue single issue comics. All those are indie comics that I've ordered from Kablam. There's some cool stuff in there. Big supporter of all the guys, the small press and the indie guys. Um, more books. 300 Frank Miller, a great book. Uh, a lot of how to books down here. Uh, how to draw. Some of these guys I've never seen draw comics like this heart guy, but he, he draws good. I've never seen it just working in an actual comic book. Uh, how to draw mango, a DC guy to lettering, no writing, inking, and coloring the lettering. There it is. Um, Adkins for Life, that's not an art book, it's a diet book that I feel miserably at. Um, this cool gargoyle I got at ShibaCon years ago. Heavy as hell too, you could really knock somebody out this thing. But, uh, I guess that's about all I will probably ever use it for. Is if a burglar breaks in. Uh, there's some cool figures up here. The crow. It's kind of grainy looking. I don't know how good you can see this stuff. Deadpool R2D2. Just stuff I got set around that kind of motivates me. Cool stuff. Bruce Lee. <laughs> you like that joke. Mm. What do we got? Let's cut some lights on. Here's a commission I gotta do by the end of next week, a charcoal drawing. Uh, it's hard hard to do likenesses of people. It's something I don't really enjoy doing, but I do it to make a little spare money. There's a Wolverine sketch card I finished up the other day. Well, it's not finished. I'm still gonna do Copic markers. Take that to it and do a little coloring. Um, I think that's it. Anyway, uh, let's check back with Logan and see how he's feeling. So, you changed your mind? How do you like it here, Logan? I'm the best there is in what I do. Yeah, all you do is stand on my desk and watch me work. I guess you are the best. Let's see. What are you going to say about that? There's more to me than you think. Well, who would have known? Uh, that's about it. Um, highly recommend this ab rocket. Um, it's great for sitting in the corner, looking like an ornament, collecting dust. Um, I hadn't had it that long, but I've probably used it three times. 
Uh, need to get motivated and start working out with that. Uh, got a few weights, some more upstairs. I use them more than I like do the sit-ups because they suck. But anyway, um, that's it. Let's jump back, take a look at it. Um, this is where I work and um, feeling a lot better about you know my environment now. I've got it cleaned up pretty good and more organized. I don't know if it's fun sway sway enough, but uh, it's a lot better than it was. If you could have seen it before, you would see the improvement. Like I said, it took me two days to get it like this. So, uh, I'm pretty proud of it. But uh, now I just got to get some work done. And uh, I'll be honest, man, I'm really tired. I uh, worked all night. I've been nodding off before I've done this. I had to get woke up and said, well, I'm going to at least do a video today. Um, try to knock out a little bit of drawing before I lay down. Um, at least 20, 30 minutes working on something. Um, I might start this commission piece I've got over here. Uh, like I said, I dread doing that kind of work, but it's not comic work. I don't enjoy it like I do comics, but it's extra money, so why not? And uh, it's a different medium, too. They want to do charcoal, so that's something I don't normally do, but I have. Uh, I have to break out the charcoals and get refreshed with that a little bit. Uh, anyway, I think that's about it. Um, I've rambled on a lot. Uh, here's something else I was messing around with the other day. Uh, it's very small. It's just a little sketch of my X plus character. Kind of redesign his outfit a little bit in the other characters. It's a real loose sketch, but I kind of like the look of it. You know, with the little modification might be pretty cool. I may change his costume down the road to that. Uh, that's about it and me and Wolverine's gonna leave you with one final message oh yeah take your best shot <laughs> well this is Kenny Keen and I approve this message